in the world did we see last night? Wow, we go over today and inside NASCAR. That race was crazy. Hey, how about let's relive it here in race highlights. I'll start off and Pitbull gave the command to start engines here. He's a co-owner of track house and a superstar rapper. Sasha Banks swelled the green flag to start off the 63rd running of the 500. And um, the big one happened early on lap 14. A bunch of cars, Eric Amarola, Alex Bowman, William Byron nearly went upside down. Ryan Newman, Ryan Blaney, the runner-up in the 2020 Daytona 500 from last year. A ton of cars being torn up in that one. A bunch of good cars. Truex involved there. Kurt Busch involved and many more. We had a six and a half hour rain delay. And when they got all said and done and when we got restarted, Quinn Howe and Chase Briscoe um, wrecked. And Denny Hamlin, two time in the uh, three time in the fending series. Daytona 500 winner, the last two winners. Um, Denny Hamlin won, then um, Christopher Bell, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., and Kyle Larson had an incident in early in stage um, number two. Then in the, at the end of stage two was a wild finish here. Um, Bubble Wallace, um, Michael McDowell, they're getting a push. It was the two, um, the employee and the boss running together. Bubble Wallace trying for Denny Hamlin and Michael Jordan's 23XI. They're battling out. He's um, Bubba's battling out to his boss and it'll be Denny Hamlin sweeping the first two stages into the day. Tona 500 um, scoring it over Kevin Harvick, Bubba Wallace. And then all of a sudden on the white here's it coming to the white flag. Um, Michael McDowell got a run up to Brad Keselowski trying to push him around here and the white flag wove. Um, Tons to the white flag. It was a Gano leading. Hamlin trying to go for three in a row, running in ninth place. And all of a sudden, here on the bottom, uh, Bubba Wallace, Kevin Harvick, and Cole Custer, um, the rookie of the year from 2020, got a huge run on the bottom here, which set up this finish. Austin Dillon goes down to try to get a run here. Chase Elliott will push Michael McDowell. And then all of a sudden, uh, McDowell and Legato, or Kozlowski and Logano go off the block. McDowell gets a huge run here, and look at the run there. All of a sudden, they're crashing Kozlowski into the fence. The wreck involved. Many cars, Larson, Priest, Chastain, Sindrick. Kozlowski went to the fence, like I said. Bubba Wallace and many good cars. Kyle Busch getting the worst of the wreck. And then all of a sudden, um, the caution came out, and it was for Michael McDowell. He would win the Daytona 500 for the first time in his NASCAR Cup Series career. Um, that was probably one of the craziest 500 finishes I've ever seen. The big wreck on the last lap. Because Lowski going into the fence, his fuel cell hit the fence. And that's what caused the huge fire. That's when most people are talking about the huge fiery crash to the end of this year's Daytona 500. Um, thank God no one's injured like um, Newman last year. Newman uh, was involved in lap 14 and was taken out um, in that wreck. So everyone's okay in that wreck. Kyle Busch getting the worst of it. It took a while for him to get out of the car. He's okay. Um, no, no injuries. And uh, Michael McDowell, this is probably the biggest upset we had all all decade and it's only the second year of the decade so the biggest upset winners of so far in the 2020 is michael mcdowell you know last year had cole custer winning austin dillon winning you know those guys really they really aren't really underdogs you know um i don't consider them underdogs but michael mcdowell driving for front row motorsports and Fun fact, the only number to be able to win at from a motorsports has been the 34. In 2013, we had David Reagan winning. 2016, we had Chris Buescher winning. And then 2021, Michael McDowell winning the biggest race um, of the year and of his career. You know, um, that race was pretty crazy, um, you know. And lap three, had the Dale Sr. tribute. And they showed a thing where Dale Jr. Um, wrote a letter to her father. A little bit emotional. I kind of got emotional watching that. But uh, now we're going to wait to rate this race. Before we end the show, my rating for this year's Daytona 500. Drum roll, please. Me being on my desk, this race will get a 7 out of 10. 
Um, for the most of this race was a train fest, but you know, early on in the race, great racing. When they got racing, good racing. Uh, most far good racing than I, except for the choo choo train they had for most of the race because of the big one. Um, now there were re there weren't really much cars really in contention to win the race anymore. So this race gets seven out of ten. See you guys next week as we review um, the Daytona Road Course race, and um, see you guys then. Thank you guys for watching and peace.